I'm Scott Alamillis, the 3rd of September, 2024. This is my daily life. We're here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and today we started off the day by getting up and taking the uh, Uber out to the uh, Cafe Las Violetas in El Magro, where we met up with uh, Valentina and her wife uh, Valeria, uh, um, Valu as we call her, and her brother Matias. Uh, and uh, we had breakfast there, hung out, uh, had a really nice time. That is a really iconic um, uh, cafe here in the city. This is a place that uh, is really well known. It's like over 150 years old, absolutely beautiful. They did an amazing job. It was all really excellent. We had a nice time there, uh, hung out, and then everyone else had to go to work. So Valentina came with us uh, and we went exploring the city. We did a bunch of walking through the city, went to the train station, the main one, got to see that absolutely gorgeous and then took the train part of what we wanted to do today was take the trains we wanted to experience trains in Argentina so we got to do that that was super cool and we took it all the way to the western end of the line to Ciudad Tigre now, this is technically still in the metro area but it's really far away and as you take the train line you get to see large swaths it was like 20 miles uh, of Buenos Aires out to the west and north and uh, went through really cool neighborhoods really interesting it was neat seeing these like suburban and small town pieces of the municipality because it was just so unexpected it looked in many cases like small villages in england as we went through things you would never expect to see as a foreigner thinking about what argentina must look like this was not what I was picturing. This was a beautiful train ride. Uh, it took a little while, but got a chance to relax and just see a lot of Argentina out the windows. And really, this is the most that we got to see of like extended Argentina, so that was great. Tigre is at the end of the line, so it's really easy. Just go to the very end. They had a beautiful train station as well. Um, and uh, uh, this is really funny. While we were on the train, I got spotted as a YouTuber, and when we got off the train, a group of uh, kids from the area asked if they could get a picture taken with me. So I got a picture taken with a bunch of kids who were like, wow, he's a YouTuber, and they're all watching my YouTube show on the train and everything. It was, it was very funny. Valentina's like, that was the coolest thing ever. That you have fans on the train in Argentina in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so we got to Tigre, checked that area out, walked around the town quite a bit. Beautiful little city. This is like a little like weekend kind of village experience for a lot of people from Buenos Aires. It's a popular place to go. We walked around there, went out to the port. It's called the Porto uh, de Frutos, and it is the old fruit port, but now it's like a shopping center and an antique area. And we did some shopping, and we had lunch there at... Um, the, the Vieja de la Puerto, which is the old lady of the port. Um, and and um, the food was decent, uh, but, but not exciting. Again, it wasn't a cafe and they just didn't have uh, knockout food. It's just okay. It was, it was decent. It was better than many of the other places we've been, but just consistently lunches or any meal that isn't from a cafe just has not been that stellar. Uh, but it was nice. It was a beautiful spot to sit. We got to hang out. We had a really good time, talked for a while. But Valentina has a family dinner at 7 o'clock, so we couldn't stay super late. So about 4.30, we had to get on our way back, walked through the city again. Uh, we did, while we were there, we managed to pick up some uh, mate stuff and do different shopping. So that was cool. We got some things knocked out that we needed to do. Uh, then we caught the train and brought it back into the city. Valentina immediately took off to go to dinner, and Dominic and I worked our way home uh, from there uh, so that we could um, um, get back. So we just took an Uber back uh, from the park. But we, it was cool to get to hang out in the park, see different parts of the city. And uh, that was that was pretty much our day. Uh, but it was great getting to see the trains in, in a more extended part of Buenos Aires and Argentina. That was, that was very interesting. And honestly, I think those areas just looked a lot more interesting than Buenos Aires proper. The big city is a big city. A lot of times they're all the same. Not really, but you know what I mean? There's there's a lot more uniformity in a really large city in many cases than there is when you get out into smaller villages and getting just a little bit outside seemed like we were experiencing um, a really unique area. So I'd be really excited to come back to Argentina and explore some of those areas quite a bit more in less of Buenos Aires proper because everyone does this. Everybody films this, but going out and doing those things would be totally unique. I've never heard of anyone doing that little and found any so that would be really cool anyway that was our day see you guys tomorrow